everybody, my name is Val. Today I'm going to tell you about the ocean floor. We have to pass through the... We have to pass through these sea mountains. These sea mountains to get down to the trench. Dashi, let's take it slow. These sea mountains are tall. Yes, some of them are taller than any mountain on dry land. Trench. It looks like a humongous, bottomless pit of darkness. Yes, the trench is much too deep to see to the bottom from up here. So how do we know where to put the Octo Lab if we can't even see the bottom? We'll have to go down and look. Quasi, Shellington, you're with me. Time to get out of the gum and head for the very bottom. We, we made it to the bottom. We've made it to the bottom. Wow. It's a field of hydrothermal vents, but something's wrong. Isn't there supposed to be smoke and steam coming out? To be smoke and steam coming out? Look, Shellington, some of them have crumbled. Yes, act. Active hydrothermal vents are hot and bubbly with lots of animals living around them, but they don't last forever. These vents have. have gone cold and fallen apart. Captain, this area is fascinating, but we can't put the... Uh, well, we can't put the deep sea octolab on top of these crumbling vents. Deep sea octolab on top of these crumbling vents. Agreed. Let's keep looking for a better place. They're gone. Coast is clear. Glad they didn't find us. Glad they didn't us. We're safe for now. Listen, everyone, I'm afraid we can't live around these hydrothermal vents anymore. They're too cold for us. We're, We're, going, to march across We're going to march across this trench until we find a new hydrothermal vent to call home. Somewhere nice and hot. With, lo uh, with lots of steam and gas bubbling up. Of steam and gas bubbling up. A place where really cute ones like us can grow up to be giant 